top student and I suppose what's important is that everybody achieves something tonight and that we took a step in the right direction as a parliament and as legislators in equipping South Africa with knowledge um, and the only way to prove one is a top student is to go out and implement what one has learned but I'm most humbled and grateful that the hard work has paid off positively. I believe that we have a lot of work to do as a country and as a sector in equipping public representatives in particular, but in ensuring that Parliament has got people who are, who are equal to the task, effective and efficient, because we all know that there are no educational requirements um, to be a member of Parliament. And that has drawn a lot of criticism from detractors of public service uh, in particular. And so I believe that this initiative is very important because um, it's a pushback, a constructive pushback in that regard. But most importantly is that even post-Parliament, we are able to continue contributing towards South Africa's um, discourse academically with knowledge, skills um, and expertise. What I take out of it is that we have a lot of work to do, but we have taken a step in the right direction in ensuring that we've got public representatives um, who have got the skills and are able to um, execute their duties um, correctly. What's more important is that we, you must be willing to learn. Well, I want to encourage my, my, my colleagues, and young and old, um, because, I mean, we were in class with um, MPs across the spectrum, um, and to say, this is in the national interest. That's why it's important. It may be a personal uh, development as a member because the certificate will have your name on it, but in the final analysis, this is for South Africa. It's a national priority. We cannot preach education to the youth of South Africa um, if we as members don't take education seriously. So the practicality of it is that we are in education together and we are there to motivate and be able to understand the hardships and the difficulties that students face in institutions of higher learning at a better level than just the theoretical or newspaper or um, media report. But when you are part and parcel of the educational system, there's a better appreciation of why Fears Must Fall is an important campaign. There's a better appreciation of why um, decolonization of education uh, is a priority for students because we are part of the system. And this enables us to make informed decisions about the direction and the discourse of the country. So, yes, it is a personal achievement, but it is a personal achievement geared towards ensuring that the national interest um, gains momentum. Um, as, and there's a post-grad program um, diploma and then a master's program. And I think it's important um, that one completes what they've started. We cannot end here. Um, and I want to encourage, again, colleagues who um, have qualified for the next phase um, for us to go in, you know, very quickly and get this done um, and move on and create space for others so that we can go back and motivate other colleagues to say um, it is possible. I think this because in many material aspects it is a pilot project quote unquote um, in, to the extent and magnitude to which it has been rolled out. It's important for those of us that go through the stages to encourage others to say it's possible um, and for us to be a nation at, in education and a nation at work learning every day and sharpening our skills, knowledge and expertise for the good of the country. <laughs>